Hello, I am just popping in at the beginning of this video just to say I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a giveaway in this one. As the festive season is upon us, I just thought it would be something nice to do just to give back a little bit to you guys. So for those of you that have tablets or iPads, I am gonna be giving away some of my own digital products and planners. So stay tuned towards the end of this video to see how to enter. You guys have just been absolutely amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate all of your comments, your advice, your kind words. It really, it's just been so heartwarming. So I just thought I really wanted to give something back. It's only something small, but I did work incredibly hard on my digital products and I am really, really proud of them. But I just wanted to give something small back to you guys, just to show my appreciation because you guys have given me so much over the last few months in terms of motivation and just positivity. And I just wanted you all to know that I really, really appreciate it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. As you can see, we have painted the living room. I love it so much. It is so much lighter, brighter. You can kind of see up there. It's not white, it looks white in this background, but if you see it against the white ceiling, it isn't white, it's more of a very light beige. It's really just lightened up this room, made it feel fresher and brighter and warmer. Avery is uh, grunting at me. Um, yeah, really happy with it, really glad we did it. So today is Wednesday. I've been painting since Saturday. So it's taken me a little while. My husband helped me a little bit yesterday just to give me that final boost to actually get it finished. So I kind of half put the living room back together yesterday. I need to finish putting it back together today. I've bought a few new bits to kind of tie it all in together. Some have arrived, some haven't. But yeah, I'm hoping by the end of today I can have it looking really, really nice. And yeah, that is the plan for this morning. Avery is just chilling in her bouncer for a minute. She's just had her breakfast, so she's just waiting for all of that to settle. And as you can see, we finally got her glasses. So we picked these up on Monday morning. She is doing really, really well with them. And I kid you not, since we've had them, we've seen a real improvement in her intentional reaching and kind of batting toys and things. So I honestly think that they are helping. Um, they do still kind of press into her skin a little bit when she has her dystonic movements like this, uh, which isn't ideal, but we've chosen the best frames we possibly could because they have this kind of strap around the back instead of arms, so they don't dig into the sides of her head. They're kind of like goggles, and when she's not moving into funny positions they do sit on her face really really nicely and they don't pinch her so that's nice i think she suits them i'm very very happy with them and i'm happy that she's tolerating them so well we are now like a week in since she got over her um illness her rsv and this is the longest period we've had of avery being well in about six months because she's always got back-to-back -back illnesses so we're really enjoying this time she's a very happy girly at the moment aren't you <laughs> She's very happy, which is really, really nice. So, Avery's gonna finish letting her food settle and then we will have some time on her play gym and mummy is gonna crack on and get the living room put together. What do you think? Yeah? Avery has absolutely been loving her new play gym and toys, haven't you, Pudding? Honestly, like, I love this thing so much because Avery loves to be on the floor. It's kind of her favorite place to be at the moment. And, you know, I don't mind laying her on the floor, letting her watch Frozen, if that's what makes her happy, because I just want her to be happy in life. But with this, She's laying on the floor, but I also feel at peace knowing that it is helping her development because 
she's got all of these things to look at which are helping with visual development and actually her vision support teacher was over here a couple of days ago and she was just commenting on how good this was and how she wanted to recommend it to all of her other patients because it's just really good for vision obviously I'm sure you guys know high contrast is brilliant for vision development and you know Avery, she loves anything she can see her reflection in and this comes with little mirror cards which is great and you can actually attach them to the actual frame of the play gym as well so she's got lots of different areas to look at. She is constantly getting this bell either with her hands or her feet and that's really good because that teaches them that if they do an action they make something out of it so if she kicks the bell it makes a noise and that's all just really good for brain development and you can probably see her here she is actually trying to reach and bat for that now it doesn't look like it it looks like movements but this is what we're starting to notice that she's doing she's actually starting to kind of bring herself over and try and bat things in front of her which is really really good because that is a target we've been working on for so, so long. And she just really, really likes it. She's happy in this. And like I said in my last video, it isn't ugly. It fits nicely in the home, which is a bonus for me. And it is quite big as well. So Avery has got plenty of time in this. Obviously it's designed for when babies start to sit as well so that it's tall enough so that they're not hitting their head on the top. But honestly, genuinely love it. I am not working with Love Every on this video. I just am really, really, really impressed with their stuff. But she has been very, very happy, haven't you? Hey? We had her TAC meeting yesterday, which if you're new to the kind of special needs world, a TAC meeting is a team around child meeting. It's where a lot, or it's supposed to be all, but sometimes they can't all make it. A lot of her professionals will kind of get together. I mean, pre-COVID, it would be in a room as an actual physical meeting, but now it's usually done on Teams. It's just a chance for me to speak to everyone at once, to bounce ideas off of all of them at once, get lots of different inputs in terms of physio and OT and the medical side of things. And it's just really, really good. So we do have quite a few plans moving forward in terms of Avery's medical side and her development. We are talking sleep systems, raising her bed. I mean, a lot of it's around reflux control. We also had an appointment with her gastroenterologist yesterday. We're still considering the J-tube, but I think that is gonna be something we try after we've tried all of the things that we can try first, so sleep system, raising her bed slightly. Her gastroenterologist actually said that baclofen is known to aid with reflux as well, which I didn't know because her neurologist said he was concerned that the baclofen might make her reflux worse because obviously it weakens the tone, so it could weaken the tone in her kind of core and all of her core muscles, which essentially help keep everything down. But he said it is known to help with reflux so it's interesting and I'm interested to see if it actually does help anything because Avery's been on a Meprazole and Lansoprazole those are the only two drugs that are available to us in the NHS at the moment and they don't really do much so we've got other options you guys also know she is on a prophylactic antibiotic now as well through the winter so that should try and help keep the illnesses away i mean i don't want to speak too soon but like i said this is the longest stretch we've had without illness and it's just so so refreshing isn't it pudding it's honestly just night and day with avery when she's poorly and when she's well she is such a happy girl when she's well so it's so sad that she's been poorly literally back to back for so so long and it's just nice to see her happy yes it is pudding but now now that you're well we haven't got an excuse not to keep up with your therapies have we hey <laughs> i love you so much oh you got your bell you got the bell well done baby did he make a noise did he make a noise <laughs> You're so beautiful.
that lovely? What is it? It's a Ted Baker advent calendar, full of nice little knickknacks, and it's not as good as the first one I've ever bought you, but hope you enjoy. Thank you. What's it got in it? Like smellies and stuff. It's got everything. I've seen most of it. Thank you. <laughs> So I've done as much as I can do for now. The curtains are up, which I am very, very happy with. I just bought them on Amazon. They were relatively inexpensive. They don't quite touch the floor, but I am happy with them. I like that they're just slightly off of the wall color as well. I think it just makes them pop a bit more. And then I put all of our artwork back. This one was actually made for Josh and I as a wedding present. My best friend did it and I love it so much. We are a blended family, as you know, so I really like that that reflects that. It's really, really sweet. I have shifted furniture around, so this unit normally sits in front of the window here, and I do prefer it there, to be honest, but I'm anticipating getting the Christmas tree out soon, and the Christmas tree goes in front of the window, so this is here for now. I changed around a few of the picture frames, one of them being this one. I've you can't really see, there we go, that's better. One of them being this one, this is the picture that was taken of me, Avery and Olaf in Disneyland Paris, which we all really love. So I've popped it in a frame and the rest is pretty much as it was before. Um, I'm not sure if you would have seen in the footage, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it or not because the lighting was quite bad, but Josh actually surprised me with this. This is just Avery's glasses case. Josh surprised me with this today. It's a Ted Baker advent calendar, which, was so lovely of him, really, really sweet. He has already bought me a chocolate advent calendar, so I was really surprised to get that, but he does things like that, he's very sweet. Um, up here, not very exciting. I have three new prints coming, so these frames are empty at the moment. The new rug is down, I'm happy with it. It's a little bit more cooler tone than I would have thought, but since the sofa is gray, I think it ties that in quite nicely, and I don't think it looks too out of place in the living room. The only thing is, because it's washable, obviously it is quite thin, and quite um, easy to bunch up. So I have just ordered a non-slip mat to go underneath it. And in the meantime, until that's delivered, I'll just have to tell the boys to be careful. And then we have Avery here playing in her gym. She's been playing with daddy this morning, haven't you, Pudding? Hey? Yeah, you're very happy. <laughs> Gorgeous Kelly. Yeah. The cushion covers are new. This was another way I tried to switch things up to match. Um, they've still got all the little bits all over them, so you can tell they're new. They are very, very soft. I just bought these in a two-pack from Amazon. Uh, we normally had three pillows on either side. I got rid of the pink ones and the grey ones and popped the beige one in. I think two is enough for this sofa because it's not very big. This fro blanket we've had for a long time, but it's always been in a basket, so I thought I'd pull that one out. And then this one I bought from Home Base, which was £9, I think. And then over in the dining room, obviously, curtains are up. Again, exactly the same ones on the other side really happy with them i moved this picture over here mainly because it's a slightly thinner frame than the other one and it's less likely to get knocked as people walk past it and then this side's changed just a little bit i've put the plant over on this side to make room for avery's x panda over there here the only thing really that's changed is i've added this photo frame and popped the picture of Josh and the boys on Flight Force in Disneyland Paris. I just wanted to pop a few little memories from Disneyland Paris in the living room because it was really fun and the picture is so funny. Look at their faces. <laughs> It's the first big roller coaster, like kind of um, roller coaster with inversions that Zach and Eli and probably Marley actually had been on. Zach and Marley loved it. Eli not so much. I think you can tell by his face. <laughs> Bless him. But they were all troopers. They all went on it, no problems, and they had a great time. Yeah, that is pretty much it. There still are a few things that I need to sort out. The baskets that I bought for in here didn't actually fit. 
so I've used them for other things and I have ordered some that should fit so they should be coming in a few days the prints for that wall are coming in a few days so is the non-slip underlay for the carpet um, these boxes will no longer be here once I get the boxes for the TV unit I don't know what to do with that yet but overall I'm really happy with it it's definitely a few days work well done I think Good morning guys. Sorry, I'm looking a little bit worse for wear this morning. Avery had me up a quarter to six. So she's up, I'd like to say bright and early, but it's certainly not bright outside yet. So I'm just sat downstairs with the kiddos. Eli and Zachary yeah. have had their breakfast. Avery is just being fed now. She's had her nebulizer and what you would have seen me doing with the side lying is an exercise that her respiratory physio taught me. Um, basically side lying in combination with some kind of firm patting along her. Zachary, what are you doing? <laughs> He's trying to stare up the video. <laughs> <laughs> Along with some firm patting <laughs> on her ribs is supposed to help clear or just kind of uh, dislodge some of the mucus on her lungs if there is any. So it's a good exercise to do daily. Little lady seems happy again this morning, don't you, Pudding? Um, I think the reason why she woke me up so early is because she'd actually leaked through her vest, through her baby grow through her sleep sack, through her sheet, and through her, well, not through her mattress protector. Luckily, that did save the mattress. So that is all in the wash at the moment, and Avery is dressed very early this morning. This little outfit is 12 to 18 months, but this long little lady is already getting too long for it, and this is the first time she's worn it, but it's quite festive, I think, so I thought it was appropriate. The plan for today, the boys are going off to school, of course, um, hubby is still home he actually goes back to work on Monday so again we're still trying to make the most of the time <coughs> and today we are going to go out to the supermarket and stock up on food for Christmas time um, Christmas time we don't like to food shop because I hate food shopping and we like to have nice foods over Christmas. It's really the only time of year that we do it. We kind of buy unusual foods. Other than that, we're really quite boring and repetitive and we hate it, but it's quick and easy and it is what it is. So over Christmas, we treat ourselves. We get some nice foods, some nice snacks, nice things to cook meals with. And we're gonna go today and get a load of stuff that will either store well or go in the freezer and we'll buy the fresh stuff last minute. But that is the plan. I don't mind food shopping when it's Christmas food shopping, to be honest. It's probably the only time I do enjoy the food shopping. So we're gonna go. I think the plan is to try and take the go-to seat as well and sit it in the trolley and see how well Avery tolerates that because I really wanna try and start making more use out of it. And that would be a good way to do it because it is actually designed to go in trolley seats and make it easier for children who need extra posture support to be able to sit in trolley seats so we're gonna give that a go but yeah it's only now seven o'clock so like i said avery is just having her feed the boys are about to go up and get ready for school aren't you boys yeah i need to get myself sorted out as well because i know i look a mess i've also woken up this morning it's really sore under my eye here and i've had a look and i think it's either a spot or it's a sty, but whatever it is, is really, really so sorry. I can't stop smiling because Avery just keeps giving me these beaming smiles. Are you happy, girly? Are you giving nice smileys? She honestly, guys, it's just night and day the way she was a couple of weeks ago. She is so much happier. 
so much more kind of responsive to things and her reaching has been absolutely brilliant recently it's definitely getting a lot better which is really really nice because it's like she can kind of play on her own in a sense now before she was very heavily reliant on me doing things for her to play but now she kind of bats and swats things with her arms and it's just nice to see her enjoying herself without too much input because we've waited a very long time for that haven't we put in. food shopping it was a successful trip I would say um, Avery did really well in her go-to seat for about five minutes and I think the issue is because there's no way to kind of um, rest a trolley seat back um, her seat was quite upright so after a few minutes you could tell she was starting to become very tired because she needed to work quite hard to keep her head up straight and she started to flop forward so it didn't last long but it was nice to test it out. We got quite a bit of stuff and when we were going around we started to notice a very bad smell and I'm going through all this shopping trying to figure out where the smell is coming from because I don't know if it is something that we've bought that's gone bad in its packaging and smells really bad and it's kind of leaking onto other foods or if it was the trolley and there was something on the trolley and that's kind of coated everything in something that smells bad. I've got a feeling it was the brie because I bought a little wheel of brie and it was quite squishy so I've binned it. I'm hoping that that was the culprit because... <laughs> It's a little bit daunting when a weird smell is coming from your food. I'm not going to go opening all of the packaging to see what it is because that would just be a waste. Hopefully it was either the brie or the trolley, one or the other. We basically just got a mixture of foods that would see us through, that would see us through the weeks over Christmas basically. Because I don't want to be food shopping and meal planning over Christmas. I'd rather have a nice amount of food in. And like I said earlier, it's kind of the one time a year that we treat ourselves to having new and different food in the house. So all we really need to buy now is more brie. <laughs> and um the kind of fresh stuff that we couldn't get now it wouldn't last so things for christmas dinner like potatoes and carrots parsnips things like that anyway it kind of occurred to me um earlier that um i ended yesterday quite abruptly and didn't really catch up with you guys after i had finished in the living room and that is because uh, I was playing hairdresser for the afternoon. My mum came over and I did her hair for her, I put in some highlights, toned it and gave her a bit of a trim and that pretty much took up the best part of the afternoon and I know that recently a lot of my videos have kind of been a bit choppy over a few days and one of the reasons is because my husband's been, my husband has been home and we've just been doing more things and I like to make the most of the time while he's here to spend with him and it's just been easier to film parts of my day instead of one whole day and another reason is I've quite been enjoying filming that way so when I film over a few days I feel like there's something to kind of catch up with you guys about there's things that I can show you guys in a video sometimes when I'm filming over one day I can find it quite a struggle to get enough footage of things that I think are interesting I suppose I mean my days are kind of the same in terms of Avery and her care and you know you guys would have seen that in many many vlogs so i have been enjoying filming snippets of my days instead so i'm not sure if it will continue like this um i definitely think it might be a mixture of either a kind of day in the life and then sort of a few days in the life um i mean if you guys know my channel then you know basically i am just sharing our journey what it is like to be a special needs family and how we're adapting to life basically and adapting to uh, children with additional and complex medical needs that is essentially what my channel is about and kind of everything goes with that because our life is our life 
and Avery's needs really impact every single aspect of life so yeah really anything goes but i suppose where i struggle is kind of worrying that if i keep repeating the same things over and over again then my videos are going to start to get boring and you're all so nice i mean your comments don't go unnoticed i do try my best to reply to every single one and you are just the kindest bunch of people and i just appreciate all of your advice and your well wishes and just your nice comments like you really are the nicest group of people and and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But if there is anything in particular that you guys want to see from me or you're more interested about, maybe I've mentioned something and you'd like to hear more about it, then please don't be afraid to comment on it and I'm sure I can include it in a vlog. Anyway, I am just gonna finish unpacking. So this is what we've got. This isn't all of it, by the way. Um, there is a lot that's in the freezer and we also bought a few joints of meat that are in the freezer, including a Christmas day meat. We're actually having pork this year just because it's cheaper and we're not super mad on turkey anyway. Um, but I bought all the ingredients to make our traditional Christmas day dessert, which is a Terry's chocolate orange cheesecake. We're actually having a little pre-Christmas gathering with family um in a couple of weeks so i also picked up a few bits for that uh nothing overly extravagant we're just having a few picky bits out on the table and having some family around having some drinks so it should be a nice evening we figured we don't get invited to parties so we're gonna have a little one of our own so we got some cheeses some are for our little gathering some are for us to snack on we always do a little cheese board on christmas eve i also bought some soft cheeses this one is for crackers this one is for the cheesecake um random bits like chocolate spread and jam because i know the boys like it some crackers the bourbons are for the cheesecake base a few little snacks again just things the boys will like um pork scratchings because why not um i think i might do a few batches of pancakes over the christmas period so had to have some maple syrup the boys have cereal for breakfast usually so i thought i would get them some exciting cereal we got these marshmallow mateys that is the wrong way around <laughs> these and i think these are supposed to be like a bit of a dupe for lucky charms and then some rainbow hoops and I'd say these are meant to be a bit of a dupe for Fruit Loops but I don't actually think they're fruity. I think they're just loaded in a load of different food colourings. It's not going to focus. We got lots of things to drink. Um, gingerbread house. Normally every single year I actually make my own gingerbread templates and not the templates i download the templates but i actually make the gingerbread to make a gingerbread house myself and then the boys decorate it this year i'm giving myself a little bit of grace and i just decided to buy a gingerbread house kit and then the boys could decorate that and we can still keep up with our christmas tradition I tried to buy a few bits that we could actually make meals out of over Christmas. I'll be honest, a lot of the time we tend to snack, but we all like, I say we all, all of us but my husband like pasta. I know, I'm not sure what's wrong with him. Macaroni cheese in a box, which I thought was quite interesting because normally we get it ours in either a tin or a packet. So yeah, we got a lot of sharing bags of crisps because we always like to snack on those. Hot chocolate, of course, can't be Christmas without hot chocolate. Same with celebrations. And yeah, that is basically everything apart from what is in the freezer, which I am not gonna show you because our small chest freezer is in the garage and it's cold outside. So I am gonna find somewhere to put all this stuff away. We have a little bit of cupboard space, so hopefully it will all fit. I am all finished in the kitchen. The smell is still there, but I'm kind of really hoping 
it's the brie in the bin and nothing that I've put away. Uh, only time will tell, I suppose. It's like the sprout situation all over again. You'll obviously have no idea what I'm talking about, but a few years ago, when I was younger, my dad gave to me a little box of five Ferrera Rochers. And I thought, it's really sweet, but also really strange because it's usually my mum that does the Christmas shopping. And then one night I decided to crack them open and I was absolutely convinced that someone had farted because it stank. And I must have been saying it for a good 20 minutes until I got to the third Ferrero Rocher and I unwrapped it. And my dad had very creatively wrapped up a sprout, put it in the box, sealed the box as though it was all untouched and left it to rot. And I was none the wiser until I opened it. I don't think anyone's beaten that Christmas prank yet. But yeah, the stench was awful and that is what the smell is reminding me of. But hopefully once we empty the bin bag, then the smell will go away. Anyway, I was thinking to myself the other day, I really enjoy when people do like Christmas gift guides here on YouTube. It's always given me a lot of good ideas and I just like to see what people are buying. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm prepared enough to do an entire dedicated video as a Christmas gift guide, but I thought I would do a little miniature version within this video because I do have a couple of ideas. The first one being if you are shopping for maybe be a mum or a new mum or a baby or child toddler and if you guys have watched the last couple of videos then this will be absolutely no surprise but love every product I absolutely love them I mean Avery is right here currently playing on the play gym and I absolutely love this thing it's all tailored and designed around child development and we also got one of their play kits we got the three to four month one because that's kind of where the stage Avery is at but she's been absolutely loving the stuff don't mind the fact that she's not wearing trousers by the way she had a little bit of a leak through when we were out shopping today didn't you put in but it's warm enough in here she doesn't really need them on and she likes to be free don't you <laughs> But she's been absolutely loving it in here. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen her so settled for so long. We could literally let her stay here all day if we wanted to. She absolutely loves it. All of their products are sustainably sourced. They're organic. They're completely safe for little babies. And I just love the concept. They also do subscriptions as well. Their play kits are tailored around ages. So say for example, you were to purchase a subscription when your child gets into the new developmental stage, they will get a new play kit. But yeah, that is definitely my first idea. 100% if you are shopping for a baby or a child or a toddler, check out Love Every, you won't be disappointed. Their stuff is absolutely incredible. My next idea is something that I personally love to receive around Christmas time, and that is anything organization and planning, especially when the new year is looming, because I like to be completely on top of my game in a new year. Digital products seem to be taking over the world at the moment. I myself have moved over to digital planning in my iPad just because it's easy, it's convenient. I keep everything in my iPhone and in my iPad. So I have really been enjoying doing it that way. I do have a few digital planners over on Etsy, shameless plug I know, but there also are many other digital planners on Etsy and I just think they're really, really good. I'm completely new to digital planning and I was just blown away that it was even a thing. I recently got um, a stylus pen for my iPad, which is basically like a cheaper alternative to an Apple pencil. And I can write in my digital planner just like I can write on a paper planner and I can erase things without messing it up. I can add stickers, I can do what I want with it. And I really, really love it. So 100% would recommend a digital planner as a gift. And they're also really, really inexpensive as well. I will leave mine linked below. Once again, shameless plug. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because I worked really, really hard on them and I'm proud of them. But if the person you are buying for is not a tech savvy or digital person and prefers physical paper planners and diaries, then I would definitely recommend So Typical Me. I've talked about them in my videos before. I purchased one of their planners at the end of last year and I absolutely loved it. As a matter of fact, I'd probably say it's been my favorite physical planner so far just because of the personalization element. This one is mine and as you can see, it is completely personalized i have pictures on the front and back there is like a protective plastic film over the pictures so they don't get ruined the binder 
not the binder, the strap, sorry, is personalised, but the binder as well is also personalised. You can choose the colours. And then the actual way it is laid out itself is also personalised. So in mine, I chose to have a meal plan, a to-do list. Um, I think I've got, what have I got? Yeah, the shopping list on here and a note page and then just the calendar down here in the corner and then a weekly view, which also has little to-dos on the side. This for me works perfectly because it's got everything that I need within a week, but I designed it that way. And there are lots of other options that you can choose instead of the things I have as well. And then you also have extra pages in the back. I just chose a mixture of to-do pages and note pages just because that suited me, basically. But as you can see, up until I started using my digital planner not long ago, I was using this every single week and it really helped keep me organised. Everything that I like to keep organised in a week, it helped me do that. My meals, the things I needed to buy, the things I needed to do, it kept me organised. And like I said, my favourite part about this is the personalisation element. So I think this would make an amazing gift. My next idea is for those of you that are shopping for someone that may have a Nintendo Switch. Both of my boys have Nintendo Switches and I struggled to find a way to keep their games organised. And then I found a game tower which actually sits the um, charging dock on top of it and it just helps keep everything organized it even has a little drawer in the bottom so you know the little kind of controller strap things you can put on the controllers to use the controllers without having them attached to the screen if you know what I mean you can pop things like that in there it also has little handles on the side to keep controllers on and the boys have a few little accessories and it just keeps it all together in one place so I would definitely recommend that the next thing I would recommend is personalised calendars and the reason why I recommend this is because I actually buy one for my mum and dad every single year and every single year they absolutely love it because I fill it with pictures of memories through the last year, pictures of the kids which they always like having on their walls. I may or may not have purchased one this year, I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know if either of them will be watching this video. But every year up until now, I have purchased one and they've always really, really loved them. And then my last idea kind of follows on from that. Anything personalised with pictures, I think is always a hit when it comes to Christmas shopping. I bought my husband um, a phone case that's been full of pictures and these things I usually buy off eBay. And I just think it's a really nice personal touch to a gift. I think there's nothing nicer when you're given something and it's quite obvious that someone has really put a lot of thought into that and I think when it comes to personalisation and especially photographs, you can tell that a lot of thought has been put into it. But anyway, those are my few ideas. Hopefully you may have got a few ideas for your Christmas shopping list this year. Hello boys. Hello. Hello. I'm just sat here editing this video and it's already 40 minutes long. I had planned to carry on filming for this video tomorrow but apparently that footage needs to wait for the next one. I'm actually going to start decorating for Christmas tomorrow so make sure you watch the next video because that is what will be included in that one. Anyway, before I go, as promised, I am going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway. Like I said, it is only small and I wish I had so much more to give away to you guys but... I'm doing what I can with what I have, so I'm going to be giving away three of my own digital products. I worked very, very hard on them. I am proud of them. So if you have an iPad or a tablet or you're familiar with note keeping apps like GoodNotes, then this would be absolutely perfect for you. I'm going to be giving away my undated digital planner, my digital notebook and my digital recipe book. I will leave my Etsy links down below so that you can check those out and see what they look like and see if they would be for you. These are digital products. So you'll either be receiving the PDF or you'll be receiving a link will take you to a Google Drive document which will then give you the PDF just depending on the file size. But once you have them, you can then share them. So like I said, this does make an amazing gift, especially to those who like digital planning. So to be in with a chance to win, you need to be subscribed to my channel, like this video and leave a comment down below with hashtag Avery's Christmas giveaway so that I know that you've entered. I'll be announcing the winner on Monday the 12th of December over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. And with that said, I am gonna close out this vlog. I hope if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you all in a few days with another one bye guys